What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are rocking out with one of the coolest bug types of all time. We got ourselves a Choice Scarf Heracross team for ranked regulation age. Now, when it comes to Heracross, this is a bug and fighting type, which is a super dope typing. On top of that, it's got the Moxie ability, making it get a plus one attack boost every time it picks up a KO. So pretty much our plan is here today with Heracross, use big time stab damage moves, outspeed with the Choice Scarf, pick up a KO, Get the plus one boost and then just make this thing just like kind of snowball and get stronger and stronger and then just like sweep the match so hopefully heracross can uh show out today and do a lot of damage heracross got close combat mega horn for two big time stab moves knock off an earthquake for two coverage moves absolutely love this move said feel like heracross is going to shine today other Pokemon on today's team feature a bunch of meta Pokemon. We got Rillaboom, we got Whimscott, we got Incineroar and Dragonite, and last but not least, we have Mimikyu. Mimikyu's not a meta Pokemon, but the other four definitely meta. Rillaboom, Incineroar, doing Rillaboom, Incineroar things I'm not even going to explain. Whimscott's here for Tailwind support, helping hand boosting, Moonblast and Taunts, and Dragonite with that choice ban, a Spinner, Iron Head Extreme, Speed Stomping Tantrum, big time physical attacker. Like I said, our final Pokemon is going to be Mimikyu, and I just used Mimikyu a couple of videos ago, and I absolutely love this Pokemon. It's got the skies with the spooky plate, getting all scary on us with Shadow Claw, Play Rough, Shadow Sneak, and Sword Stance. So if we have a chance to set up Sword Stance, we can double this thing's attack stat and pretty much just start deleting Pokemon. Guys, you want to run the team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right-hand corner, and if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into our first match showcasing Heracross. Looking for a win in our first match, we are going up against a Charizard team. They also have Whimscott, and chances are that thing is rocking sunny day, so Solar Power Chun's Charizard. They also have King Gambit, they got Farigraph, they got Ursa Luna, and they got Rillaboom, so they can pop Trick Room if they want to. Um, Heracross wouldn't be a bad lead here, considering it just does big time damage to pretty much every Pokemon. So I like Heracross for lead, especially with the Choice Scar, so I am going to end up going into Heracross. I could go into like Whimsicott for like Taunts. But the only problem is their Trick Room Setter is for Graph and it has Armor Tail, so I can't even use Taunt into it. So I'm not even going to bring Wimscott. Um, we could go Incineroar for the lead. I don't know how to feel about that. What do I want to do here? I could go maybe Mimikyu, maybe just Dragonite and just go full on offense here. With a Choice Spam and a Choice Scarf. I feel like that could be deadly. I feel like that could definitely be deadly. It could go into Tailwind as well. That could be a little bit of a problem. You know, we're going to go into Incineroar here. Incineroar into Heracross. We are going to bring Dragonite for late game. And last but not least, I do like you. I do like Rillaboom here, especially with Knockoff. Definitely call up Clutch. We're going to go into you. Yeah, I'm about it. I am about it. Let's see how this one plays out. But I got my boy Heracross ready to rock. Ready to rip after it. Looking for a win here in match number one. But I wonder who they're going to lead. I feel like they got a few different options. If they go into that trick room thing, if they don't trash slice that uh, Farigraph, Mega Horn could really, you know, get some work done. But they could also go into Whimscott and Charizard, which could be a slight issue. You could just, like, tailwind up, heat wave across the board. And they do go Whimscott, Charizard. Okay. I mean, we could just fake out the Charizard. We could fake out and double down the Charizard if we would like. Or I can go after the Whimscott and predict the protect from Charizard. Options, options, options. I'm going to predict the protect from Charizard. We're going to go right after Swimscott. Actually, you know what we're going to do? We're going to swap Heracross. Into Dragonite. I got multi scale on that. I'm gonna I'm gonna save my boy, and I'm just gonna flare blitz onto the swim scott slot. I think Charizard protects. I really do. You could set the sun and go for like maybe a heat wave, but I mean I have two Pokemon that uh that resist fire, and I got multi scale on Dragonite, and there's protect on Charizard. So that was an easy read for me. We reset our Heracross. I didn't really like the position it was in, and Sunny Day is gonna fly, which is fine. I mean I can e speed. I can e speed. Plus we get rid of the swim scott, right? Unless you're focus ash. And yeah, you're gone. See you later, Wimscott. Get on out my face. So Wimscott gone. They do get the sun up. Um, I could go normal Terra E speed if I want to. This thing's gonna take some solar power damage. So like this normal Terra E speed could actually be really clutch for us. Ursaluna is gonna come out here and hmm, from here I might just want a parting shot out of there. But I think going normal Terra E speed into you is 
probably our best bet, and then just like parting shot, shotting into Ursaluna, and getting out Heracross. The thing is, you move last, and that's the one thing I don't like. So I think I'd rather just like try to take off item, and then deal with Ursaluna. I like this. I like this. Because, yeah, I don't want a parting shot into Ursaluna and then Heracross come out second. Because Heracross is a lightweight Pokemon. Doesn't really take hits too well. So if I parting shot into Ursaluna and then it attacks, it could totally be going for a Blood Moon into that slot. And I could just lose my Heracross. So I'd rather them just take out my Incineroar. Incineroar pretty much already did what it, what it needed to do. And they're just going to withdraw Charizard here. So Charizard's going to get the withdrawal. I still have multi skill I am Thrasilize, and, and this could be pretty good for us. I mean, E-Speed could do some nice damage. Might just want to swap my what's it called as well. My Dragonite. But I still have Rollboom in the back, and Rollboom's just a great Pokemon. And Heracross looking pretty nice here. Alright, so we go for our Terra. E Speed is flying. They could think we're in our focus too. They might not even fake out this slot. They might not even fake out this slot. Let's be honest here. So E Speed launching. Dragonite. Half damage. That's gorgeous. We love that. And knockoff's gonna fly into this slot. Getting rid of Ursaluna's item, which is the life orb. That's beautiful. That's perfect. Earth power launches, that's fine. Incineroar lives on one. Lives on one. Good thing we got rid of that life orb. Good thing we got rid of that life orb. So they could obviously just like. I mean, we can e-speed for the KO. Which is definitely my play. We're gonna e-speed for the KO here. And if I can get off a of flare blitz in the sun, might as well go for it, right? Chance are they just fake out and KO and Cinema, right? I can see that happening. I still have a uh, multi skill, which is just perfect for us. But he's gonna end up terrestrializing Ursula into straight normal. Looking to do some damage. Probably go for a hyper voice. I doubt you can't be faking out my Dragonite, right? You really don't think I'm inner focus? You really don't think I'm in a focus, but Flare Blitz is still going to pick up some big time damage. Ursuline is going to go for a Hyper Voice here. Or maybe a Blood Moon. That could be ugly. But I still kind of like the position we're in with how fast my Pokemon are. I mean, they still have Tailwind, which is... Actually, no, they don't have Tailwind. They Sunny Date, which is good for us. So Hyper Voice launches Dragonite. Actually soaks that, so that's, that's lovely. That's beautiful. So I can E-Speed here. I can choose into a close combat. Hmm. Definitely want to go into Heracross here. It's Heracross time all day. So Heracross is going to fly in, into this match. Um, Just got to figure out the move I want to choice into. I already have... Uh, do I have Charizard down on HP? Actually, I can't see. I kind of forget. Did I hit that thing with a move? Maybe? No, actually we didn't. He protected and then he swapped. So Charizard's sitting at full HP. I am choosing E speed. And I'm going to switch it into this slot. And I am just going to go for a Mega Horn into this slot, or I can go for close combat. I'm gonna go for close combat. Actually, we're gonna go for Megahorn. Because if I could just double KO, I can hard swap Heracross, reset the choice. He's gonna end up protecting the Ursuline, that's fine. Megahorn, I just need you landing here. Please and thank you. I just need you landing here, Megahorn. Don't, don't let me down here, Megahorn. Megahorn. Megahorn! I needed you! I needed you, Megahorn! Oh, no. Megahorn! I, all I needed was you land there. You land there, a dragon I can e-speed the next turn, get rid of the Ursa Luna. Oh, man. I'm ready to fake out, though. Yeah, fake out Megahorn, ready to roll. Um, hmm. Might not even want to fake out, though. Might be a good turn for us to just like wood hammer into the Ursaluna slot. To finish that off and then keep Megahorn flying. What's your speed here? The problem here is though. It's a big problem. It's a big problem. The problem here is we're both weak to Charizard. But how many turns are left in the sun? Is it one? It is one. That that's big too. So I'm gonna go for wood hammer. And I'm gonna say you land this time. There's no way you're missing back to back Megahorns. Thank you. Thank you, Heracross. Bye-bye, Rollaboom. And I get a Moxie plus one boost. That's pretty big for us. All right, so we're Moxie boosted. Plus one. Wood Hammer launching. Bye-bye, Ursula. Now it's just like a weird position. It's like, okay. 
How do we do this? How do we play up against this? 2v1, no sunlight, which is pretty big. And what hammer is gonna be? Oh man, an absolute mess. <clears throat> I think both my stab moves, Mega Horn and Grass moves, are four times resistance. So we're gonna have to go for a knockoff here. Charizard did take some solar power damage, which is pretty good. We know he's not in life orb, which is also good. But it could be like charcoal boosted. Sunlight's gone. Yep. And I think from here we just have to go for knockoff into a Mega Horn. I'm all Mega Horn. Get a crit or something. Mega Horn landing. Beautiful. How much damage? Mediocre. Mediocre. Heat Wave's gonna fly here. Roll Boom soaked us. And Heracross soaks that. That's huge. I get burned? Are you kidding me? How much damage knockoff doing? Oh my lord. And Terrain's ending, isn't it? I really got burned. That burn, that burn actually just lost me the game. I think that burn lost me the game. I think that burn lost me the game because we did half damage of what our knockoff would have done. And then all I would need it was a Mega Horn to land. But Mega Horn's not going to KO now because his HP is not low enough. Give me a crit, Heracross. Give me a crit. This hurts the soul, man. You pick up a burn and you get a crit on my roll boom just to rub it in. You pick up a burn, you get a crit on my roll boom. I miss my first Mega Horn and you live on one HP. I thought I played that one good. GG's to our opponent. We start things off 0-1 with Heracross. Man, that was such an ugly loss there in match number one. I felt like I played that one super well. We got Heracross out there doing big time damage. We just ended up losing to RNG. But hey, we're bouncing back here in match number two. Going up against a Hisuian Typhlosion team, which I haven't seen a lot of Hisuian Typhlosions. That's such a strong Pokemon, especially in the sun. And they have Torkoal to set the sun. On top of that, they got Incineroar. They got Rillaboom. They got Dragapult and Farigaraph. A few different options that they can go into. Heracross, actually not bad here for the lead. And honestly, I might end up leading it. Is that what I want to do? Yes. We're going to go into Heracross for our lead. Actually, they're going to go into Incineroar. They're so going into Incineroar. I have too many physical attackers that I can't really do much about. So I'm just going to go into Incineroar of my own. I think I might just go Whimscott here. Yeah, I'm with Whim Whimscott. So I'm going to go Whimscott. I am going to go Incineroar. I will bring the bug in the back end alongside with Dragonite with the Choice Band. I like the choice book one. They just do a lot of damage. I mean, Mimikyu could be okay, but I mean, a lot of fire types. So I think going into Dragonite is just my better option, right? What moves you got again? You got E Speed, which is obviously good. At... I wish you had Outrage. You have no stab moves. Kind of sucks, but I mean, I like Stomping Tantrum here and the coverage moves you got. So I'm cool with this. I got Ice Spinner to deal with Thrill Boom, Stomping Tantrum to deal with the fire type Pokemon. I feel like there's a lot of different moves we can use, but no stab moves, which is crazy. I would love to just have like Outrage. I mean, Stab Outrage Choice Band is just ridiculous. It just does so much damage. But uh, I got my boy Heracross here. We're looking to bounce back. Match number two on its way. Let's see who they're, who they're going to end up leading. It's going to be Dragapult and Torkoal. So Dragapult, Torkoal, a little scary on my end. I mean, they're going to clear body up. Um, fake out the Torkoals. Easy play for us. And I could just hard swap the Wimscott. Or I can Moonblast. I mean, Moonblast isn't a bad call for me. Let's be honest here. Moonblast, not a bad call for me at all. Definitely just want to fake out you. Yeah, I'm going to Moonblast here. I'm going to Moonblast. You might Terrasalize, you might Phantom Force. Let's see how this one plays. He's going to U-turn Pivot, that's fine. Do some decent damage. Moonblast is going to fly into this next slot. And this is probably his Suing Typhlosion. So if I can get the special attack drop... Oh, baby. If I can get this special attack drop, this will be awesome. No, it's going to be Incineroar. Okay, so Incineroar was the Pokemon I was scared of for the lead. It's kind of good that he got him out. Probably want a Parting Shot into Torkoal this point set up a tailwind and west does decent damage but i mean you're gonna fake me out i got cover cloak on my uh i got cover cloak on my uh incineroar or not my incineroar my whimscott so you know what i'm just gonna do this and i'm just gonna set up a tailwind just for speed purposes later because chances are i die out here fake out is gonna go into incineroar i'll pop this tailwind and i'll say bye bye to my whimscott so whimscott's gonna drop out here i think heracross is actually a solid pokemon to get out here what are you gonna drop a heat wave? You're gonna erupt. So Incineroar is gonna soak that. Wimscott, not so much. But Wimscott got some work done. Alright, so I don't mind this. I don't mind this. Gotta go into Heracross here, right? Go Heracross up, or I could just go into you. 
Good choice in the E. I, ooh, I could go ground tire EQ here. And hard swap in Dragonite. Yeah, 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 I like that. I like that. Ground Terra EQ flying. The sun is out, but I don't mind this. Let's just swap in the Dragonite. We will reset our Incineroar. We got safety goggles on him, and we'll go Ground Terra EQ. Sending them freely, super effective onto both with the Terra boost. All right, Heracross, do your best here. Kind of wish it was Choice Band at this point. I don't think it's going to KO, but damage could still be very, very high here. So we hit that Terra button. Could be going for another Eruption. Could be going for Heat Wave, but I really like the Ground Terror here. I really like it. Especially up against all these Fire Pokemon. We got Tailwind up. We still have our Incineroar. We got Dragonite ready to roll. Torkoal's going to end up protecting. It's fine by me. Are you parting shotting here? Most likely, right? Most likely, but EQ. How much damage are you doing? That's the real question. The question of the day right here. How much damage are you doing, EQ? Dragonite's dodging, Torkoal's protecting. EQ launching. My boy Heracross. That's big time because we're now Moxie boosted. We're now Moxie boosted. So plus one Moxie boosted EQ's flying. Uh, they have Torkoal. They got Dragapult. Dragapult's kind of more of on, on the lighter side. I can E-speed away. I got Ice Spinner. Dragapult's going to come back out here. We got Tailwind up and Choice Scarf, so we're out speeding. We are out speeding. I mean, EQ's going to do monstrous damage now. Um, do I just double down to this... This Pult slot? Because it kind of seems like they have Hisuian Typhlosion as their last Pokemon. But honestly, I don't want to go into E-Speed. Would I rather choice into Stopping Tantrum, maybe? For now, I think I'd rather just go into Ice Spinner. Just because it's super effective. But to be honest, a combination of Moxie Boost to EQ and Stomp Protection should pick up a KO. I'm gonna do this. Alright, double down with ground moves. Helping Hand's gonna fly out here. We outspeed him, so this could be good for us. This could be really good for us, because EQ's gonna launch. Probably say bye bye to Torkoal. Give us another Moxie Boost. And do, oh, we don't take out Torkoal, but still, we take out Dragapult, which is even bigger. So, not another Moxie boost. Torkoal's on the slower side right now, so I don't really have to worry about him, because I can just drop the Qs freely. And I think their final Pokemon's Typhlosion, and if that's the case, we're choosing the ground moves, and we can really start ripping. And it is. And for the most part, Torkoal and Typhlosion's Terror types are just straight fire. So, we're just going to do the same thing. Stop and catch from EQ. So, this Heracross combo actually going crazy in match number two. I told you guys, we're bouncing back. I got you guys. I got you guys. All day long. Out comes the Terror type. I would hope that this isn't anything other than fire, but I would think it's fire, right? Yeah, see, like I told you guys, it's it's fire. We still have Tailwind up. Damage is going to be absurd. We got rid of our weaknesses of fire with the ground Terror. Heracross hitting hard. Helping Hand's going to boost again. It don't matter. I outspeed you. And that should be game. Unless you're choice. Are you choice? Heracross outspeed now, which is good news. So, spamming EQs, plus one, bye-bye Torkoal, bye-bye Typhlosion. Let's go, dude. Let's go. Heracross, lighten it up in match number two. Ground Terror EQs with the Choice Scarf. Moxie boosts it. Can't go wrong with that. Looking to thrive out with Heracross in our third and final match. We're sitting one and one. Absolutely love that last match because we got to fully showcase Heracross and the power of that Pokemon. But we're going up against a pretty strong team with Hydreigon, who's a great meta Pokemon in DD. Golden Go, Murkrow, Sneasler, and Basket Legion without Rain. So I don't think we're going to be seeing much of Basket Legion in this matchup here. But for our lead, we could actually just go like Mimikyu. Because Mimikyu is going to be super effective onto a lot of these Pokemon. Murkrow, Golden Go, Hydreigon, Basket Legion, even though I don't think these bring a Basket Legion. So I like going into Mimikyu here. So Mimikyu is going to be our lead. They could end up leading Sneasler for like Fake Out. I could also lead like my Incineroar, which isn't bad. And I think I'm going to go Incineroar alongside with uh, Mimikyu. Maybe try to set up a, uh, a sword Dance, which would be nice. We'll bring Heracross in the back end. And last but not least, do we go in with Rilla Rillaboom? Rillaboom could be good. I mean, they have Indeedy for terrain, but no other Psychic type. So it's like, do I really have to worry about terrain? Hmm. I think Dragonite might just be our best option. Late game Dragonite is just so powerful. It really is. We got Simon Tanner. We got HPD. I'm going in Dragonite here. So, looking for a winning record here. We are 1-1. One one. 
I think the last video we went one and two. Maybe the last two videos we went one and two. Been a little rough patch for us. I could be wrong though. I know that I know for a fact last video we went one and two. But yeah, looking to bounce back. Last video I didn't play good at all. I was just I don't even know. I guess I was tired. I, I don't know. I just wasn't into it. But today we're into it. I feel like we're playing really good. We're swapping well. We're protecting well. Let's see how this one plays out. But Murkrow and Gold Go are gonna come out here. So we're obviously just going to fake out the uh the uh Murkrow and then have her disguise. And honestly, I think setting up Setting up Source Dance here is probably the play. Or just attacking Golden Go could be the play. I am just going to attack him. And fake out the Murkrow. I could double down into Golden Go this turn. Especially with my disguise, we could just get rid of it. Not the Murkrow. Yeah, the Golden Go. Um, yeah, I mean, what would happen if we fake out Murkrow? Next turn it sets up a Tailwind. Yeah, we're going to double down to a Golden Go here. Because, I mean, I have my disguise. I might as well use it. Because if I, like, like, if I fake out Murkrow here, it's just going to set up a Tailwind next turn. So I'd rather him set up a Tailwind now, more so than a different turn. Because then Tailwind would just end longer. So either way, he's getting off Tailwind, unless we just, like, double down into it. But, I mean, if we double down into it... Oh, wow, you, you have Dragon Terror. That's the most perfect Terror. Really, Dragon Terror? But Murkrow's going to protect anyway. Okay. You really have Dragon Terror? That's absurd. That is absurd. So Dragon Claw is going to launch, actually do awesome damage. And Make It Rain is going to fly. So he's going to take off my disguise, and Sinor is going to soak really well. Um, I'm hoping we can bring this thing down to low enough to where Shadow Sneak can KO. That's really what I'm hoping. Cool, Life Orb does some damage. Player Bots might even KO. Not very effective. It doesn't, but Shadow Sneak can. Awesome. Cool. Dope. We love it. Um, I'm going to knock off the Evo Light, and I'm just going to Shadow Sneak for the KO. Evo Light, let's get rid of this thing. Let's get rid of this. Make Murkrow very, very weak. Alright. Not a bad turn. Not a bad turn. Golden Go is going to get the Withdrawal. That's totally fine. Going to leave it on 1 HP. I can deal with that later. And Hydreigon's going to come out here. Imagine I went to a player up there. He'd be dead. Shadow Sneak doing about negative 6 damage. You're going to set up a Tailwind. Yep, Tailwind flies out here, and we're going to knock off this Evo Light. So, Evo Light off the bird. Bird's really weak now. Um, probably should just go for a player off. You don't have Terra anymore, which is good. And if you end up KOing my uh, Mimikyu, which you could, I'll just party shot out. Lower this thing's special attack, because I'm not worried about the Murkrow. Like, Murkrow can foul play, sure. It can, like, haze and do, like, other things. But without the Evo Light, it's not that bulky. It's not going to stay on the field long. So I don't I don't mind it just sitting on the field, right? It's better than him having two offensive threats on the field. I'd rather him have one offensive threat with Murkrow. Especially because you already have off Tailwind. Like, you already have speed. But there's Dark Pulse. Let me cue. It's on one. Foul play doubles down, though. Come on, man. <laughs> I want it to be a 1 HP bandit for once. Really want to be a 1 HP bandit, but Parting Shot's going to launch here. And we love this thing's special attack, and I get to swap out. So I get to bring out my two back-end Pokemon, which I absolutely love, Heracross and and Dragonite, because, you know, I can eat speed if I would like to. Could normal Terror eat speed if I want to. And Heracross can rip with close combat. So the moves that... Uh, these guys have would be foul play, dark poles, maybe flamethrower, but I think just going into like a close combat here. That's where we want to be. How many turns are left in Tailwind? I think we should just close combat you. And then we could choice to an ice spinner. Ice spinner is not bad, depending on who you have as your last Pokemon. It can't be Basculesion. It could be, but it might be Basculesion. Oh, man. I'm going to choice an ice spinner here. He's going to end up withdrawing Hydreigon, which is fine. Golden Go is going to come out here, so we're going to get rid of Golden Go. I'll probably hard swap Heracross and save it. Foul Play is going to launch into Dragonite, which is good. I mean, it does good damage, but 
Heracross is now gonna get boosted. Moxie, we might we might have to swap it depending on the Tailwind turns here. But I'm gonna get rid of Golden Go and I'm gonna get rid of Murkrow here. Okay, okay, okay. I see, I see. Moxie boosted. They see this thing as a threat right now. Hands down, they see this Pokemon as a threat. Ice Spinner's gonna fly, no Evil Light. Bye bye, Murkrow. Now it's 2v2. 2v2. Good swap on their end. They just want to sacrifice that uh, Golden Go just so they can get their Hydreigon back in a better position. From here, Basque Legion is the final Pokemon, which kind of scares me. Um, They don't have Terra. I have to reset my Choice Scarf with pretty much both my Pokemon, but I think our best bet is to just hard swap Heracross into Incineroar. So I fake out later and just start Ice Spinnering down this Hydreigon. All right. This is where it comes down to. We have to reset our choice, especially on Heracross, because close combat, it would dump on that uh, Hydreigon, which would be awesome, but it wouldn't be able to touch the Basic Legion. So I'm bringing out Incineroar. I Intimidate, which is okay, especially because it's because Basic Legion is physical. And last respects is going to fly. Can you soak this? Okay, I thought it was going to Dragonite. Incineroar soaked it, no problem. Dracometer's outspeeding us. Bye bye, Dragonite. All right, so you're dropped on special attack. Yes, let's do it. Let's do it. You're going to you're gonna protect the what's called. I already know you're protecting the what's called. The Hydreigon. I already know you're protecting Hydreigon, and I can just go into you. So I already know you're protecting Hydreigon. And Megahorn's our play. Got to go Megahorn. Got to go knockoff into Megahorn. Actually, I can't go into Megahorn. I don't like this game. Do I go into EQ instead? This is a problem. This is a problem. This is a problem. What's your terror type, Incineroar? Steel. We're gonna have to give that a roll. We're gonna have to give that a roll. We're gonna have to give that a roll. We're gonna go Steel Terra. Knock off into Megahorn. I, I know you're protecting Hydreigon. I know you're protecting. So I'm gonna hit this Steel Terra. Hopefully he's going for Aqua Jet or something. Make life easy for me. But I think we can soak up an Aqua Jet. We're not soaking up a Wave Crash. Chance our Bash Legion you outspeed me. I have to go in the Megahorn here. Protect, Hydreigon. You don't protect, but Megahorn flies into Bash Legion and does respectable damage. Last respect's gonna fly into you. Can you soak this? Live on one. Hold up. Draco Meteor launches. Can you soak this? He's minus two. Hold up. Give me, give me a chance. Give me a chance. Give me a chance. Steel Terra. Money. Knock off, flying. All I need is a Megahorn. All I need is a Megahorn. Heracross. You one HP bandit me here. So far you're making up for your RNG. But now's the time. Now's the time. If there has ever been a time, now's the time. We're gonna go into Fire Blitz just for extra damage here. But now's the time for Megahorn. 85 accuracy for the winning record. Heracross. You got it. I I'm not even worried. I'm not even worried. What am I worrying about? Heracross is landing this. Let's do it. Let's do it, Heracross. I told you. My boy. My boy, Heracross. He's got my back all day. RNG takes away a game in match number one. RNG helps us with a game in match number two. Kind of. A little bit. I mean, we won HP Bandit, so it felt good. And uh, Mega Horns were landing good. So, yeah, I'll say RNG wins us this game in match number three. Opponent quits. We'll take a nice little 2-1 winning record. There you go, ladies and gentlemen, 2-1 and one winning record with our bug boy, Heracross. Heracross was absolutely amazing today, dropping Moxie as ability, boosting its attack, and then doing big-time damage with close combat, Earthquake, and Megahorn. This team just fit together so well. A lot of meta Pokemon, two off-meta Pokemon with Mimikyu and Heracross. Just the perfect mix and nice little winning record, like we already mentioned a couple of times. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread spots every day. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.